Good morning to all. Today we are going to discuss the exercise of chapter 6 Animals Everywhere. You can take page number 82 in your textbook and let's start with the first exercise. Check the correct option to complete each sentence. So I'll read out the questions and options and you can tick the answers. The first one. Which of these animals lives in the rainforest. Polar bear, cheetah, hornbill, deer. The second one. Which of these animals lives in a desert? Tiger, wild ass, yak, lion. The third one. Which of these animals does not have lungs? Dolphin, butterfly, monkey, frog. The fourth one, which of these is known for its long migration? Wild dog, sparrow, arctic tern, eagle. The fifth one, which of these are excellent swimmers? Duck, fish, penguin, tod, dog, mouse, sparrow, eagle, owl, monkey, rabbit, fox. So let's see the answers. So what is the answer for the first one? Which of these animals lives in forest? The answer is hornbill. What about polar bear? It lives in polar region. Cheetah, deer, all this live in grassland. So hornbill lives in rainforest. Second one, which of these animals lives in a desert? The answer is wild ass. The third one, which of these animals does not have lungs? Dolphin, monkey, frog, they have lungs. What about butterflies? They breathe through tiny holes called spiracles. So the answer is butterfly. The fourth one, which of these is known for its long migration? What is the answer? The answer is Arctic tern. It has made the longest migration from North Pole to South Pole. Fifth one, which of these are excellent swimmers? So which one is the right answer? The first one, duck, fish and penguin. Coming to the second one, true or false. So you can tick the statements that are true and you can cross the statements that are false. First one, most birds, bats and some insects can fly. Second one, some snakes are herbivorous. The third one, ducks and frogs Swim with the help of a webbed feet. Fourth one, dolphins and whales breathe with the help of gills. The fifth one, insects breathe through stomata. So, what are the answers? First one, most birds, bats and some insects can fly. The answer is true. Second one, some snakes are herbivorous. What is the answer? It is false. All snakes are carnivorous. The third one, ducks and frogs swim with the help of webbed feet. The answer is true. They swim with the help of their webbed feet. Fourth one, dolphins and whales breathe with the help of gills. What is the answer? The answer is false. They breathe with the help of their lungs. Fifth one, insects breathe through stomata. What is the answer? The answer is false. They breathe through tiny holes called spiracles. Third one, answer the following questions in one sentence. First one, describe the habitat of polar bears. Polar bears live in the extremely cold north polar regions. So polar bears live in polar region. They live in extremely cold climate. Second one, how do insects breathe? Insects breathe through tiny holes called spiracles, through which air enters a network of fine tubes situated in their bodies. And these fine tubes carries air to all parts of the insect's body. The third one, name any three animals that have lungs. So you can name any three animals that have lungs. Frogs, Birds and lizards have lungs. Fourth one, 
Why do animals migrate? Animals migrate in search of food, water, to avoid harsh weather condition and to reach their breeding sites to reproduce. So animals migrate in search of food or water or, or to find out a new favorable living condition or they migrate for their breeding purposes. Fourth one, answer the following questions in two or three sentences. What is meant by habitat? Explain with an example. Animals live in a place which provides them with the food, water, shelter and the right kind of environment they needed. Such a place is called the habitat of the animal. A place that provides them food, water, shelter and the right kind of environment. Such a place is called as habitat. One more question is there. Explain with an example. For example, black bugs and cheetahs live in warm grasslands with plenty of open space and rich growth of grass. So which means for black bugs and cheetah, their habitat is the grassland. It provides them the right kind of environment, the food and water. For them, it is the, for them, for cheetahs and black bugs, grassland is their habitat. The second one, classify animals on the basis of their feeding habits. Let's see the answer. Animals that eat only plants are called as herbivorous animals. Animals that feed on the flesh of other animals are called carnivorous animals. So you can classify animals based on their feeding habits such as herbivorous and carnivorous. Third one, why do eagles have strong pointed and sharp beaks? So first of all, eagle is a carnivorous animal. It depends on the flesh of other animals. So why do this uh, eagle has a sharp pointed beak? Let's see the answer. Eagles eat small animals and it is a carnivore. They have strong pointed and sharp beak to hold these small animals and to tear and eat their prey. So they have a sharp beak that helps them to tear and eat their prey. Fourth one, explain how aquatic animals swim. Let's see the answer. Aquatic animals such as fish have fins and streamlined bodies that helps them to swim. So fish have fins and tail that helps them to swim in water. They have fins and a streamlined body that helps them to swim easily in water. The flipper-like strong wings, streamlined body, and their webbed feet makes penguins excellent swimmers. Even penguins can swim in water. They have the flipper-like wings and they have the webbed feet that makes them excellent swimmers. Then animals such as the ducks and frogs have webbed feet that enables them to swim. Even ducks and frogs, they also have webbed feet that helps them to swim in water. Next is high order thinking skills. Let's start with the first one. Let's read out the first question. A tortoise lives on land while a turtle lives in water. Look at the pictures. You can see the picture of tortoise and turtle. How do the limbs of tortoise help it to live on land and that of the turtle enable it to swim? So let's see the answer. Tortoise limbs are for walking on land. It has a toe-like structure to grip the land. So tortoise has a toe-like structure. It has a special feature that helps them to walk on land. What about the turtles? Turtles have flippers to swim. So these animals, that is the tortoise and turtle, they have their own features that helps them to walk on land as well as to swim in water. Second one, think and answer. Can black bugs survive in polar regions? Why? So we know that black bugs live in grassland. And the question here is, can black bugs survive in polar regions? So let's see the answer. Black bug cannot survive in polar region because 
polar region is covered with ice. So it is extremely cold. Polar region is extremely cold. The black bug does not have any adaptation that can help it to survive the cold condition of polar region. So black bugs have no adaptive features that helps them to survive in this extremely cold climatic condition. Moreover, there is no grass in the polar region for the black bug to feed on. So for a black bug, it is not the right kind of environment for it to live. The black bug cannot run fast on icy surface. So can a black bug survive in a polar region? No. It has no adaptive features that helps them to survive on polar region. And it is not the right habitat for the black bug. The second one, polar bears are not found in India. So let's see the answer. Polar bears are not found in India as they can live only in extremely cold polar regions. So for a polar bear, it has its adaptive feature that helps them to survive in extremely cold climatic condition so that it cannot live in India. That is why it is not found in India. So the climate of India is not suited for them. Moreover, it is a carnivore that hunt other animals in the cold north polar region. So for a polar bear, its right kind of environment is the polar region. It has its features that helps them to survive in the polar region. Coming to the next one, that is a value-based question. Five questions are given. You can read it and tick the right answer. And once you are done this, you can send it to Microsoft Teams. Then there is a project song given. What you have to do here is, so we all know there are different types of habitats like desert, polar region, grasslands, etc. So what you have to do is, you can select any habitat. You can select any of the habitat. Then you have to design an imaginary animal. Okay, you have to design an imaginary animal that is suited to live in that environment. For example, if you are choosing the habitat has desert, you have to you have to create an imaginary animal that lives in desert and you have to give a name to that. Then you have to list the three features that helps to live in that environment. So I hope the question is clear to you. You can do this as an activity and the two activities you can send to Microsoft Teams. So we are done with the exercise of this chapter. I hope you have understood. So let's meet in the next class and start a new chapter. Till then, thank you.